Hi guys, today I'm just going to do a tutorial showing you how I apply my foundation using a stippling brush. This is a Sigma SS187. I'm going to also be doing other tutorials showing you guys how I use it to, uh, how I apply my foundation using a sponge and the flat um, Taclon foundation brushes. So look forward to those tutorials coming up. So this is what I'm going to do step by step. This is how I apply my foundation. You just need any moisturizer. I'm going to start by dotting the face with moisturizer. Rubbing it in. And I've already primed my face, um, meaning that I've already cleansed it and uh, used toner if I needed to. Good. So the good thing about moisturizer is that a lot of people make a mistake and they think that mis uh, moisturizer needs to be rubbed in completely, but it doesn't. It's the same thing with, um, what do you call it, sunscreen. You actually need to apply it on a bit thick. Even if it looks white, you give it a few minutes and it actually absorbs into the skin and that way you're sure that your skin gets all the moisturizer that it needs. So, after we're done, um, I'm actually going ahead into concealing. Now, I don't particularly use a concealer around my eyes. Um, what I tend to use is something a little more thicker because I t because of the baby I have a lot, of, um, a lot of dark circles and I find that what works best for me um, is using like a cream to powder foundation one of those thicker ones that tend to be more yellow based and just patting it on like that and because it's a cream I know it's supposed to be a foundation but I use it it works great as a concealer as well and because it's yellow based yellow usually cancels blue and sallow skin and because it's a cream to powder I don't have to worry about it creasing because it goes to a powder finish and do the same on the other eye you want to use very light tapping motions don't ever pull under the eyes or around that eye area good so that looks about done I only use this for my under eyes and then I go in with my regular blemish concealer. This is Revlon's Color Stay. Just dab a little bit. My skin is completely freaking out this week. I don't know why. So I have like a lot of little, little, little spots. Just want to use your ring finger and just sort of blend it out if you have a raised pimple or something that's red you don't want to tap the top too much because you're going to be taking away all of that concealer that you've already put down so what you want to do is kind of blend around that area blend out the edges of the pimple Okay, so that's it for concealer. Great, so with the foundation that I'm going to be using today, actually no, we're moving on to primer. Now the primer that I use is actually a powdered primer. Um, it's a Coastal Sense powdered primer. It's called Diva Defense and it does two jobs. Now it's supposed to be a primer, but I use it, yes, as a primer. And then secondly, I use also, it's great as a finishing powder. It really diffuses um, the look of your foundation and softens lines. So I'm going to go in with my Sigma Kabuki, my SS 182. Pick up a I put a little bit in the cap. You can use whatever primer if you have Smashbox or whatever. You don't have to use a primer, but if you have open pores or little creases or lines to fill up, this is really helpful with that. Good, so that will actually prepare my face to receive my foundation and hold on to it. It lengthens the time. Even though I'm using color stay, the primer would actually adhere um, the foundation to your face a lot longer. Right, so this is, I'm using the Revlon color stay. And 
my stippling brush and a old CD. Any old CD you can actually buy them when they're on sale. I got this for like a buck a piece so I bought five and you just take a little bit of alcohol in a spray bottle, sanitize it and then you can actually pour your foundation straight onto the CD and use it sort of like a painter's palette to apply your foundation so that you don't have, especially being that the bottle does not come with a pump so it looks like that and then you, what you want to do is take your stippling brush what I like to do though because um, color stay dries pretty quickly and it's not as workable and when you're using a stippling brush it needs to be workable what I like to do is actually just spritz the edges of my brush not saturated but just spritz it so that it becomes a little bit wet and dip you want to dip those bristles only not a lot of color tap off the excess and then start in one part of your face you don't want to start here and then go all over because you're not going to get it consistent and it dries pretty quickly so this is all you want to do some people like to swirl I have found that if you keep working with it in this tapping motion you actually get a pretty flawless looking airbrushed finish of course you don't want to get this in your eyes so I'm just going to do that Good. So after I'm through, what I usually do is if I have any areas um, that need any extra foundation, maybe it's just an area where I have a little redness or maybe an extra little pimple poking through, I just take one of these little pads, it can be a wedge, it can be whatever, but one of these little foam, um, foam applicators and just go over any area by just patting a little extra foundation. And then what I want to do is just flip it over to the clean side and go over in particular the edges of my face to make sure that it's really blended. Anywhere I have a crease or a seam, I just want to take it and go over it just to make sure that it's blended properly and this is what gives you that sort of airbrush finish. So that's it for the foundation. You see how quickly that was and this is how it covers. It's pretty flawless. And lastly, as I told you before, my primer actually doubles as a setting powder because I, I'm not a big fan, especially with the color stay, of putting heavy powders and stuff like that to set my makeup. So if I need a little extra protection and, and shine, um, shine protection, I usually just go over with my setting powder, my primer powder, sorry. And that's it. Just one quick sweep. And that's it. It's done. So I hope you found it informative. Please subscribe, rate, and definitely put your requests if you have any. Thank you.